This is my solution to our November 2021 Power Query Challenge. We want to go from data that looks like this and flip it around so that it's then more usable and looks like this. We've got double column headings, we've got things we need to flip around. If you want to play along, then click on the link that's about to pop up or in the description notes, there's a link to our blog article. You can download the file and have a go yourself. And if you want to see my solution, let's go. So the data we're starting with looks like this. And we have these merged columns and finance and actual budget variance, operations, HR. We've then got base case down here, and then worst case, and then we've got months 1 to 12 and 1 to 12. We want to make this or turn it into a much more easy to use and analyze layout. Ultimately, I want this. A nice department with all the different column data. With For department, a nice column with the elements, actual and budget, the end of the month, and then base case and work worst case, split side by side with a little space between the names. So this is how I would go about doing it. First things first, I would highlight this little range of data and name it. So up in the name manager box, you call it something like data. That then locks us into a block that Power Query can access without actually turning this into a proper table. Then we go to data from table slash range or from sheet, or you can even these days right click in this and say get data from table slash range. And then the Power Query window, the editor opens up. Okay, so scanning along or looking at the side here, we can see there's a change type and a promoted headers step that's kicked in already. So you see the operations has been moved in to the column headings, as has, ver as, as has HR. Well, we don't want this yet, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of the change type, get rid of the promoted headers. So now we've got HR, but these two columns are also operations. Now you can't sort of fill across, but you can fill down in Power Query, and you can't merge across very easily. You can individually select the columns, but then you're hard coding in those references. So this is the first sort of thing I've got to tackle. Okay. Okay, the other element is that in this column, I've got the word total. So let's get rid of that to start with. So I'm just going to right click on it. Text filter does not equal. And that is the total row removed. Okay, now please get in the habit of naming your steps. Whenever I filter something out, I use capital letters, I rename it, filtered out something, just to make it nice and clear what I'm doing. Right, next little step. Let's address this fact that uh, we wanna to join together finance and actual, finance budget, finance variance. These things need filling in. So I need to flip this data around and do a fill down because there's no fill across. So under the transform tab, you go transpose. And now what's happened is my columns with my nulls, those are the gaps for the merged cells. They're now in a nice column and my months are now going across the top. So I've just flipped everything around. This thing gives me the ability to go right click, fill, down. So now the fill happens, it hits the first word and then fills down for the nulls, hits the next word, fills down for the nulls, which is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna to wanna to do a bit of unpivoting and things, but these two columns are related. So I'm actually gonna merge them together. So I click on the first column, click on the second column, right click, merge columns. And then whenever I'm adding a separator, I tend to use my own custom one which is the pipe symbol, which is shift and the key above the enter key on your dashboard, on your keyboard, sorry. Okay, and I could give it a name, but I'm not gonna worry about it for now. 
and those two columns have now been merged together. The reason for using the pipe is it doesn't come up very often, so you can use it as a splitter without sort of um, risking accidentally splitting words apart. Okay, so we now have this. I now want to flip this data back to the way it was. So I'm just going to click the transpose button and I've now got my columns, finance budget, finance variance, all beautifully lined up. Perfect. Okay. I can now use first row as headers. So I go back to the home tab, use first row as headers, and everything is now pushed up. All good. Little side note, this sort of flipping around and flipping back is all part of one step really in terms of getting the headings fixed up. So what I tend to do is go back to where that sort of the step before that sequence of steps started. It's a little group of steps and just click the FX and insert one. And it's just a placeholder. All it does is just refer to the previous step. It just gives me the opportunity to name something. So Windows key full stop. I go and find from my emojis, this little symbol here. You might have to go searching under the hearts for it, but this is my recent one because I use it all the time. Okay, and that puts that little symbol in and I can say fix merged headings. Okay, and then at the end of this, I can come down here and go to this step, maybe even under this one perhaps, do another FX, and then clicking here, Windows key full stop again, and I just put in the same label. Just my way of organizing my steps so that I know these steps here are all to do with getting this scenario. Up to you if you want to do that, but I find it really useful, especially when I'm debugging code later. Okay, next little thing. We've now got these columns, finance, finance, variance, operations, actuals. They're all the same sort of thing. They're department and sort of element, if you like. Whenever you see the same thing in columns, you want to unpivot that data. So I click on month, click on case and year, they're nice columns. Right click, unpivot other columns. So flip everything else around. Beautiful. I now have one column of this and then one column of numbers. So this is really almost sort of, you know, most of the way there, knowing these little tricks. Okay. What should we do? Let's just split this one apart. So right click, split column by delimiter. It recognizes it's the pipe and we click OK. Awesome. So this is department and this is, I'll call it element for want of a better description. And here's my value. Right, next one. I want to get the date from this year and this month. Okay, couple of ways of sort of splitting this apart. Mm, for me, I'm just going to go for the uh, text to non-text option. So right click, split column by non-digit to digit. And you've now got the base case and you've now got the year split separately. Okay, and let's just call this scenario and we'll call this year. I now want to get the date from the year and the month. So I am going to click on these two columns, right click, add column from examples. And this one is going to be the first slash one slash 2019. So that's the first example. Now, all it does then is go 2, 2, 2019, and then 3, 3, that's not what I want. So I give it a different example, okay? I come down to the, the February one, 01 slash 2 slash 2019, enter. And now it looks like it's worked, and you always should read this formula. Text combine, 01, text from month, slash year, that is exactly what I'm after, okay? And this is now my date column. And I click OK. Change it to a date. And I'd like to, this to be the end of the month. So I right click, transform 
month, end of month, which is pretty cool. Awesome. I now don't need the year and I don't need the month, so I can right click and remove those or press the delete key, does the same thing. So we're largely there. I don't need variants, so right click text filter does not equal. That gets rid of the variants. Um, all I'm left to do with is flip my base case and down here is the worst case. I need to split it apart and then flip the data around into two columns. So a couple of ways of doing this. I could split it by, I could do a right click split column by lowercase to uppercase and then re-merge it with a space in between as the separator. But I'm going to go for this option, right click, replace values, find the word case and replace with space case. Okay, it depends on your scenario, which is safer. But now this has got the split in between the word. And finally, I want to flip this data around. So I'm going to pivot it. So this column transformed, this column selected. Um, I want to pivot this. So pivot this column using the values from the value column. And you can leave this as it is because every row is unique. So it'll just unpivot everything. But you may want to say don't aggregate. That way it won't group together common values if you want that. Um, either way it works So for this scenario. So click OK. And there we have it. Base case and worst case are now flipped around into columns. And we're pretty much done. So please take the effort to rename your steps and make them more logical. Not all of them, but something like split column by character. You know, I've almost forgotten already what that was. So rename these steps that aren't obvious before you load your data. And then we're just good. So we go home, close and load, close and load two. And I'm going to pick a table in the existing worksheet and drop it just here and click OK. And there's my data beautifully cleaned up. And if something changes, like this changes to um, sales, and this changes to, uh, let's call this high case 2020, we right click and refresh. Ha ha, the column finance actual wasn't found. Okay, let's have a quick debugging lesson. So I could have edited this out and made it look like I nailed it first time, but uh, let's let's go and explore. So the way to debug, you just click your way through the steps, okay, until you hit the bug. Go through, go through. Okay, this is all working. Then you get to the bottom and it all works and you want, you think, why didn't it work? Okay, the next thing. You must click the refresh preview, otherwise it's just testing it out on the cached results. So refresh preview, there we go. Okay. And it's probably going to be this change type step. There we go. It's always the change type step. So I didn't actually need this step. It promoted the headers and Power Query automatically put the change type step in. This is the one that always catches you. So just delete that. Okay, that should then work. And if I go right down the bottom, it should still work. And then at the end, make sure you don't leave anything as ABC123. So shift, hold, click. These are all whole numbers. So I could keep my finger on shift, click that, and click whole number. And that'll change them all in one hit. Close and load. And then this'll wear away. And there you go. You've now got a high case in there with some data in April for HR, for actual and for budget. Okay, hope you find that useful. How did you approach it? Would you do it a different way? Um, send in your solutions. If you want them to be published on our blog article, we'll add them in there. And yeah, I hope you learned some new tricks. Um, don't get caught by the change type step. Hope you find it useful. Let people know about our website and our YouTube channel, and I'll catch you later.